Oh, you're welcome, sir. It was a good session inside, but we have a couple of questions to speak to you about. So the first will be that you spoke about the fact that 50 crypto firms or platforms have reached the SEC for licenses. So can you speak about that and how long ago has that been or is it um, post the um, approval principle for Busha and Quidax? How long ago has it been, sir? I can't give a time frame, but it's been coming in okay. uh, and we process as they come in. Okay. So how soon are we going to see the release of new ones to be given the licenses? Well, it's not about being soon. It's about meeting our requirements. Okay. So, and of course, like we said, we do major release. Okay. Yeah. So, sir, from the 50 who have submitted applications, yeah. how do the applications look? Are they all tilting towards meeting these requirements? Oh, there's still a lot to be done in the sector to get them to meet the requirement. As a re regulator, we don't speak about what the applications are because there are private information for all the applicants. Okay. Uh, it would not be nice to come to the public to say such. Okay. So, sir. but we are reviewing them. All right. So, um, in terms of the blockchain and crypto industry in Nigeria generally, seeing that the government is now being receptive to it, what are the things we should expect in the coming months and years? Well, the truth about it is that uh, the reception of government has always been there. Okay. There's a lack of understanding of the participants that okay. is the issue. Okay. So for us, it's we're opening a space, a new digital asset space, okay. and of course, new opportunities for Nigerian youth, which is uh, main the uh, basic interest of the president. Okay. So that means that if the Nigerian youth can cooperate with the regulator, there is so much that abounds. In the of course, so much, so much that you just cannot imagine. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Thank you very much, sir. So finally, sir, what do you think about the conversations that we've had so far and the concept of bringing regulators alongside um, the youth who own these platforms to speak and have discussions on this subject? Uh, it's very positive. Okay. It creates an opportunity for feedback interaction and understanding, which is important, you know, uh, it speaks to the transparency of government regarding its uh, relationship with Nigerian youth. And the Nigerian so politics. now on, we are expecting that the Nigerian youth also come to terms with the collaboration that should happen with the youth and the government for the crypto industry to boom, right? Certainly. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. You're sir. welcome. You're welcome. All right.